I was having a day, I don't have often, but um, a day of why am I going to get up? It's the same day, Groundhog Day, you know, um, we'd been locked down in New South Wales for a while and I just was feeling really defeated um, and I was like, there's just no point. I was trying to set some goals around some things and I just felt like I was being held back in lots of different ways. Um, and lying in bed going, no, there's no point. I'm not going to, this isn't going to happen. Um, I was just feeling really deflated and, and down and and I was on my phone, you know, you just, you just scroll because you know, just that's how you waste your time and and somehow like you, an ad for the masterclass popped up and um I looked at it and I burst into tears like, thank you, God, this is what I need. And I didn't know I needed, I didn't know I needed that. I just knew something was stopping me and I was, you know, really quite down. And, I, and then I had the um, a lot of self-realisation. So it was coming into it, thinking I was coming with one problem and then going, oh, right, maybe I'm here for a different reason because other things would come up and I was like, oh, you know, I thought this was what I'm here for, but God's got um, other ideas and other things. That he- it was good because it was I got to do it with others um, and I knew they were all there but, you know, when you're busy you sort of, that can come later, that can come later and time for myself has to come later. But you sort of set up the priorities, help me prioritise and go it's okay for me to prioritise this area, um, you know. So, but, you know, exactly what I needed was was what came through because it wasn't just the teaching of it but you actually helped me like see those different like the different levels of priorities and then allocate them to allocate, you know, the different um, areas of my life into that and going, is it actually a priority? I had so many little aha moments, um, gestalt moments, as they call it, you know, that sort of when I was like, oh, that bug, I said, look, and I think one of the things you said to me, fair enough, was, um, um, which has still helped, is that God doesn't do things to us, it does things for us. And that was a really big, um, like a key element because you always hear the... Um, you know, oh, it's for your better good or the big good that comes out. They're very platitudes sort of things. But this was a thing, a reminder that there's reasons for this, which means if there's a reason for it, like if God's doing it, then there's a reason and it's going to be for good. So there's sort of been one life-changing event, I guess, yeah. um, which was really, yeah, I think it's so much more than what I thought when I was. And that, and that was the thing as well. When I came into it, I was where I didn't know anybody and I very quickly realised that others knew each other. And I had a brief moment of, oh, I'm going to be the odd one out. You know that everyone's got these great connections and then here's me having to open up myself in front of these strange women and I just, and then that very quickly subsided. There was no, you know, sort of those conversations where everyone is in, in it and you're not. There was none of that and everyone was complimentary and, you know, I sort of realised I was with these women who couldn't see the best in themselves. Like some of them would say something sort of in a, you know, in a negative way about themselves and I'm like, oh, my gosh, how do you not see how great you are, how kind of this you are. And, you know, I sort of realised that even though people knew each other, we were all still there as new people to the class, new women, with our own self-doubt about yeah. ourselves. And But everyone was just so positive and always had something nice to say. Um, and that was like it's there was this cohesion of group from, I would say, from the first class. Like that was very quickly, oh, it doesn't matter if I don't know anybody. And it was just a really kind group and yeah it was really lovely it was really lovely I'm so grateful to be a part of it but thank you for I don't know how it happened with the little ad that came across my phone but thank you for making it all happen you know for doing the master class and for just for having it going at just the right time because I know I wasn't the only one in the group that just went this is exactly what I need right now so I just I'm just so grateful for it and I will like I've you know tell other people about it and say it's just I would do it again I would actually do it again like I'm considering it would be something I could do every year with new challenges come along.